Are we rolling yet? Come on, bro. You ever heard of action? Jeez. I bought these five different gel blasters off of Amazon. Let's rate them one through 10. We will rate these blasters based on accessories, accuracy, pain level, and price. Gun number one is a P85 MK11. This gun was probably made in China. The only accessory it came with was one magazine, and it also came with 500 Orbeez. Time to... Did you see that in the camera? <laughs> I did. It's all right, keep it rolling. On this pistol, I'm 10 feet away from the target because I know it's just a little bit weak. Ooh. So I think it's shooting more than one at a time. I think that's enough accuracy test on this thing. Uh, next is the pain test. And according to this steak and shake cup, it's probably not gonna hurt. Let's find out. All right, test number one. Did you feel that? <laughs> okay, he didn't feel test number one and we were only like 10 feet away. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it point blank with this gun. Ooh, that did sting a little bit. It stung a little bit, huh? But that was like a foot away. And so the P85 MK11, the results are in. As far as accessories, this gun didn't really come with any. As far as accuracy, we were 10 feet away and this thing could barely shoot the steak and shake cup we had sitting up there. So I don't think it was that great of accuracy either. That's gonna hurt its rating. Um, pain level, Brandon, how did, uh, how did it feel when I shot you with this thing? Mm. Ooh, that did sing a little bit. And you heard it here first, guys. The pricing on this gun was $19.99. To me, this is a $5, you know, dollar store gun. And the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna rate this gun. The P85 MK-11 gets a three out of 10 from me. What's your, uh, what's your rate? Yeah, one. A one, he gave it a one, so one plus three is four. Split that in half, you get your average of two. We're gonna go put that on the scoreboard and we're gonna move on to the next gun. Our next blaster up is the AKM-47, AKM-47. This gun comes with a pair of goggles. It comes with the charger, one battery, two packs of 500 Orbeez, and it also comes with the top feed uh, the Orbeez feeder that you screw the grenade looking thing into. So that is it for accessories on this gun. I moved a couple feet back. The 10 mark was up there, uh, 10 foot mark. So I may be like uh, 14, 15 feet back now. Okay, I'm gonna take a step back now and uh, shoot from there. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, they sting pretty good. <laughs> Look at the belly. Oh my God. <laughs> In other news, we've got this AKM 47 and uh, we're going to go ahead and rate it accessories. So this thing came with uh, this grenade looking thing that a uh, hopper, you would call it, uh, came with the uh, bullet funnel and, um, and it came with a battery. There was no extra batteries or anything. So like it came with just enough to be like what it is. Accuracy, we're gonna go ahead and say that this thing was pretty accurate. Um, from even 25 feet away, we could hit our target. Um, as far as pain, this was like a sting. You know, just a small sting for me. Um, not even a fraction of what a paintball or an airsoft pellet would be. Uh, Brandon, what did you think about the uh, pain tolerance, the pain level? Nothing a real man can't handle. <laughs> <clears throat> and you heard it here first. We were literally having so much fun, we forgot to rate this gun. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. And yes, Joe Blasters use Orbeez as ammo. On to the next gun. And blaster number three is the Scorpion Saw Machine Gun. Coming equipped with one large drum magazine, we've got a silencer for the front of the gun. 
We have a metal fold open stock. We have a wonderful one of a kind one time zoom light up scope. This gun is green in color with some cool design. It comes with a handle for the front for firing like a gangster. It also comes with one pair of goggles and about 2,000 Orbeez. Blaster number three accuracy test. Let's go. We have yet another blaster to review. This is blaster number three, the Scorpion railgun or blaster <laughs> something. The Scorpion something, all right? This thing is 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 cool. Submachine gun. Submachine gun. All right, Scorpion submachine gun. Okay, so um, as far as accessories, this thing was pretty accessorized. We uh, we are pretty accurate with it at the like 25 foot mark, just like the previous gun. But I would say as far as the pain level, this actually hurts less than the last gun we showed you guys. <laughs> the price for this bad boy, uh, I'm not really sure of, so I'll put it on the screen right here on top of Brandon's face. And uh, yeah, that's the price that I paid for this gun on Amazon, so go check it out if you'd like. Let's rate this gun. First, let's ask Brandon uh, how the pain was for him. Was it, was it more or less than the last gun? It was less. And my rating for this gun is going to be an 8 because the accessories it came with was just awesome. What numbers do you have for me? I like the glasses switch, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would probably go with like a 7. Yeah. Say that again for me. A 7 and a half. Okay. Um, did you say 7? Yeah, and a half. 7 and a half. Okay. I can do this. 7 and a half plus 8 is 15 and a half. You divide that by two, and you get uh, 7.75. And um, put in the comments down below, is my math correct? Because I'm really not thinking correctly right now. Let's get on to the next one. And blaster number four on the list today is the M416. This is the most aesthetically pleasing blaster I've seen today. It has a orange color and is accessorized with a buttstock one magazine clip, one ACOG scope, one laser beam, and a wonderful silencer. Mic check, mic check. This is the blaster number four. We're testing the accuracy. Uh, let's go. Firing. Oh, the accuracy. We haven't touched the rocks yet, but now I am shooting from the rocks. Yes. Yes, please. You're going to try to take the whole clip? The whole clip we're going to take. This is the biggest and most aesthetically pleasing gun, which makes it more powerful somehow. And we're going to take the whole clip. Ah! 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 Uh, uh, stop right there! Stop right there! Stop right there! Ah! Uh, uh. Is that all? Check out the uh, battle wounds, guys. On my fat belly. Oh, okay, Brandon's turn. I uh, actually gotta go home. The M416 is the gun of your dream. If you want a gun that's in your dreams, it's this one. It's got a ACOG scope and a laser beam. I mean, what? And uh, if you're accurate with it, it's pretty accurate. It hurt the most. Might've been because I got shot 10,000 times, but uh, 
definitely the most pain came from this gun right here. I, I think I might have nightmares um, about it. Brandon, what do you think about this gun? It, it's very powerful and, and, and hurtful and it hurt me. Well, folks, we're gonna talk about price on this gun. And because I don't remember the price on this one either, it's gonna be right here on top of Brandon's face. That's what I paid for the uh, the gun. I mean, the blaster. That's what I paid for the blaster. A nine out of 10, because I gave the other one eight, and this one's definitely better. I'm gonna say a nine out of 10 for this bad boy right here. Brandon, um, what's your, like a, th a 13, that, that gun is, it's nice. Definitely worth the money. Whatever that price was on my face, you should pay that. Hit the subscribe down below. There's a like on there as well, isn't there? It's like a thumbs up. <laughs> We're gonna go to the last gun, which I believe is the most aesthetically pleasing out of all the guns. I mean, this thing is bad booty. This thing is awesome. <laughs> Blaster number five is a beautiful hand-dipped Desert Eagle. Uh, we've got a laser pointer attachment that came with it. The uh, BB or water bead funnel. And then we also have the grenade looking hopper for the top of it. It came with about 2000 Orbeez and a pair of goggles. This is blaster number five, my guys, my people, my homie G's. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to shoot right in the lens. Let me wipe that off. Accuracy test, let's go. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Pain test, Desert Eagle pistol, automatic pistol. Oh yeah, ah, whoo, that one definitely hurts. Um, Desert Eagle, number five. I saved best for last. I literally had no idea that this was gonna be the best because that was the first time I loaded it, the first time I shot it. Really good as far as accessories goes, what you can get with a pistol. Accuracy was actually really good for a pistol. This thing was painful. I gotta say, um, definitely probably the most painful. It's not something that you can't tolerate or that like a 12 year old can't take. I shot my nine year old, he took it like a champ. Um, what do you what do you think about that, Brandon? Uh, yeah, that gun's pretty strong for, for a little little deagle. Okay, so what would you rate this gun one through 10? For, for its price and what it comes with, um, I'd probably give it a 10, it's good. Uh, same here, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10 all around. That is an average of 10. You take it, you add it, you divide by two. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, if you if you uh, want to.